I don't like Sonic. Not one bit. Don't like him. Don't like his creepy little fan base. Don't like his creepy little friends. Don't like his single one creepy eye. So, if that's true, why am I playing a game starring just Sonic? Because honestly, it's pretty well made, all things considered. Right off the back, yes, at a base level, this is just Temple Run ripoff. But with all that said, it's pretty impressive in its own right. For one, it kind of makes sense for Sonic to, you know, run. This game actually fits his character. And luckily, there's no annoying on-screen joysticks or buttons that block your view. You simply swipe left and right to change lanes and swipe up to spin dash into enemies. Yeah, on a basic level, it seems very bland, but that's why the game works so well. It works well on mobile devices and uses a touchscreen well. Visually, the game is amazing with well-modeled 3D characters, bright, vibrant colors, and a lot of varieties in the levels. Well, so much as you can get into a game about a straight line. Honestly, the best part of this game is how simple it is. Simply go for the high score, get power-ups, complete against your friend's scores. Yeah, there are microtransactions, but none of them break up the game. Just things like extra power-ups and extra lives. It takes damn long time to earn anything, but it is possible. The only really downside with this game is you unlock new characters, but they have to be leveled up individually, which just means a more needless amount of replaying over and over and over. At a base level, Sonic Dash is just about getting high scores, and that's it. But it's engaging enough, and it's got simple enough control that you can play it for five minutes or half an hour if you wanted to. Yeah, it gets a little grindy and in when you try and lock all sorts of different stuff, but that doesn't mean it's any less fun to play, it's just really, really tedious to play.